Alrighty. Okay, so first up, who is New Zealand's best ever Prime Minister? Uh, my hero is uh, David Longy. How do you rate New Zealand's COVID response on a scale of 1 to 10? Oh, 6, 7. House prices up, down or stay the same? Sorry? House prices, should they go up, down no, or stay no, the no, same? No, 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 they need to moderate. Uh, is climate change New Zealand's nuclear free movement? Uh, I, I, don't, um, I don't describe it in that vein, no. Should the world have nuclear weapons? Uh, well, whether they should or they shouldn't, I accept the fact that we have them. Sugar tax? Sorry? Sugar tax, yes or no? Sugar tax. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm warm to it. I'm warm to it. Compulsory today in schools? Um, I don't think the country's ready for it, but I'm, I'm a great supporter of uh, diffusing the te reo. I am, yeah. I'm going to give three media outlets, Herald, Stuff and Radio New Zealand. Do you think any of them are biased? Uh, I think Radio New Zealand is incredibly biased. Uh, I must confess I based that um, on the stories that they ran about New Zealand first in the SFO. I think that Stuff uh, are very, uh, uh, Stuff are wokish and I think that the Herald is Auckland centric. Should police permanently carry handguns? No. Is New Zealand underpopulated? Yeah, we need a population policy, definitely. Should the minimum wage be a living wage? Um, okay, so I'm just explain to me the difference there. So the minimum wage is the average what we are, are, are paying workers per hour. The living wage is um, above the minimum wage, and that is uh, the average wage per hour that Kiwis need to sort of live reasonably. So our minimum wage is what, 23 bucks? Yes. Okay, so the living wage is 27 bucks? Yes. Yeah. Right, yeah. Mm. Yeah, yeah, no, no, I think that uh, the living wage it, it helps people get along. Should the threshold for MMP be lowered below 5%? No, no. If you could give a knighthood to one New Zealander, who would it be? He won't accept it. <laughs> My rangatira, <laughs> Winston Peters. <laughs> <laughs> is calling Jacinda Cindy derogatory? Yeah, I think it's childish and it's it's vacuous. Yeah, yeah. No, I, 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 look, I'll be quite honest. I think it's childish. I think it's vacuous, and um, it's petty. It really, is it's petty. I mean, if she, if her mum and dad, and she calls herself that, then that's all good. But um, it's designed to, um, yeah, it's designed. It's it's designed to trivialise Jacinda. I, I think she's out the gate in a lot of her policies. But in terms of being a prime minister and a young woman, fuck, she's, she's, she's got the bragging rights. You don't need to trivialise a woman by changing her name. Should there be diversity quotas in Parliament? No. Is it realistic to have zero homeless people? Uh, well, it's a desirable outcome. However, you're talking about mental health, so... It's a, we're always going to have in any population people who've got uh, sad sack stories about. Yeah. Are your friends equally from the right and the left? Yeah, yeah, they are actually. Yeah. If you're in the states in 2016, would you have voted for Clinton or Trump? No, no, I'm a Clinton man. Uh, and are any of your close friends in opposition parties? A uh, couple, yeah, yeah, a couple. Yeah. And lastly, what person, living or dead, would you most want to have dinner with? Pardon? What person, living or dead, would you most want to have dinner with? Most person living? The person, uh, sorry, uh, what person living or dead would you most want to have dinner with? Oh, okay. No, no, I'd love to um, spend the time with um, Clinton. Cool. Yeah, he was my political hero, not Obama. Awesome. Okay. Cool. Thanks very much, Shane. Appreciate it.